Uh, we're going to play a game now called Eds or Tales. It's a very simple game where we find out who knows the most. Music. Like, where do you find it? That you made this. Tell everybody. No. <laughs> uh, we are going to find out now who knows the most about who. Your your friends, right, in real life? Yeah, and we're both very competitive. So right now, it's I think both of us are on edge. Okay, well, let's... Oh, by the way, the winner wins something quite amazing. The winner will get to tweet from the loser's phone. <gasps> anything, anything they want. Oh, no. Oh, That's going to get cruel. What you're going to do is write your answers down on these boards. Okay, there's going to be some questions about Taylor, some questions about Ed. The first question is for you, Taylor Swift. What was, we start easy, Ed Sheeran's debut album called? So she's going to write that down right now. And let's see if you'd like to reveal that to the camera, please, Taylor Swift. You're saying it is... Plus. Is she correct? Yeah. She is correct. Yay. One point to Taylor Swift. They are real friends. Next up, <laughs> Ed Sheeran. We've just been discussing the hot topic of Taylor Swift's cats. Name one of her cats and write it on your board, please. Now, I didn't know the name of your cats, and I feel bad about that. Sorry. I'm sorry. But people were tweeting me names. You're saying? Meredith. That's correct. It is correct. They are full names, please. Meredith and Olivia. Detective Olivia Benson and Dr. Meredith Gray. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> um, Taylor Swift. Where did Ed Sheeran grow up? Answers on a board. Do you think she knows this? Has she been there? Yeah, I don't know if she'll remember what it's called. But she's been there. Yeah. Okay. She's well, writing she... something down. She seems quam quam quamfident. Uh, she seems quamfident. this is right. <laughs> okay. Let's, what's your answer? Ah, born Yorkshire, raised Suffolk. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. yeah. No way! That is correct. And I didn't even know that either. Born Yorkshire, raised Suffolk. That's well done, Swifty. Um, Ed, here's a question for you. What is, if you'd like to write on your board, Taylor Swift's mother's name? Okay. I mean, he should know this, right? Has he met her? I I call her... Mama Swift. Yeah, Mama Swift. Yeah, but yeah, it's... Uh, it, it is... Andrea. Correct! It is Andrea! Yeah, that could have been awkward. Um, okay, Taylor, next question for you. Who is Ed Sheeran's celebrity crush? She just wrote me? No, she's not. <laughs> uh, she's writing something down. Do you often talk about crushes with Taylor Swift? Um, this, was, this was at a certain time, and I think it still is. You're saying it is? I mean, yeah, I mean, it was. It was I'm, I'm, I'm in, involved now, but yeah, it, yeah. it was... Uh, it was Mila Kunis. Yeah, but now, but now she's married and pregnant. You know, yeah. just, uh, this was when you, and then you got a girlfriend. But this was your last. Thank you. You win the point. Well done. Is it awkward, Ed, if you say, "Oh, I fancy Mila Kunis," and then all of a sudden you're the most famous person in America, and Mila Kunis knows who you are, and Mila Kunis knows that you fancy her? Well, the last time I said it was like 2012. Um, so that was at a point where she definitely wouldn't have known who I was. So <laughs> that was fine. Yeah. She might know. You know, I, I just, yeah, I stopped. Yeah, stop speaking. Yeah. Um, next question is for you, Ed. What is the moment that you realised you and Taylor were actually friends? Let's see if you both think of the same thing. So the moment you crossed over from being musical pals to like, do you know what? We're friends. Mm. What, what, what do I what, what do I write? Like the the, the city, the time, the time. Yeah. Right. The experience, the exchange of text, the love letter, whatever it was. Taylor, are you remembering the first time you thought we're friends? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mine might be a different time than his because, I mean, I was sold very easily, but I might have had to earn. You're saying? Yeah, that's exactly when mine was, too, the first time we met. No. Phoenix writing a song, in it. Yeah. <laughs> So that is the I first time. In, I walked yeah, in the room. I thought, I thought maybe I would have taken a, like maybe six months for you to like me. Nah, nah, nah. Because I, I I walked in because I didn't really know I didn't really know what was gonna happen. And I walked in and I was just greeted by a cat. And I was like, oh, sound. This this will be fun. And then um, yeah, you were really nice. And there was chocolate. And we ate in and out burger. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, no, that that sold me actually because <laughs> I I always looked at um, like American performers as just people that eat grapes once a day. And just, just kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna inhale some air, you know. Oh, I just had a gust of wind. I'm cool. So, <laughs> so I was, uh, <laughs> I was expecting to go there and be like, oh, can I have a burger if if Taylor's gonna have a leaf of salad? And then she's like, right, let's let's get burgers. And I was like, sound cool. Did you go animal style? Um, 
Ed's American accent is my favorite thing. <laughs> Can I have a burger? <laughs> Can I have a burger? I had some error, and I don't know. I like lettuce. I like lettuce. <laughs> um, okay, that means you do know each other very, very well because you both got three all, which means we go to the tiebreaker. Okay. What happens if we get both of these? You, you won't. <laughs> okay. How many views has your duet, Everything Has Changed, had on YouTube? What does it say about our knowledge of our friendship, though? It doesn't. It's completely irrelevant. But we were in a rush, and this is all we could think of. This is my question? Both of you. The nearest answer wins. So you both write down how many views has Everything Has Changed had on YouTube as of 7.45 this morning. Okay, Ed, straight away with an answer there. Let's start with you, Ed. You're saying? I think it's 106 million, or near, near, near enough. 106 million. Near enough, that. Stupid. You know that? How do you know that? Because I go on YouTube. I wrote 300 million because I just don't. Because I'm, cause I'm optimistic. Is it 100 million? The correct answer is 111 million, 498,499, which means Ed Sheeran, you are the winner. A uh, round of applause for Ed Sheeran. You get to. There. She can be the biggest selling global act in the world, but I still win. You win this quiz, yeah, and that, that's what matters.